Those like myself have no families. I just can't believe you'd hurt someone you love. Hold it right there. Just find him. Kill him. You do anything to my sister and you're a dead man. In history, we learned about the last of the 20th century. Read out on holding speed. 28 kkm. Check. I'm initiating orders to advance to warp speed 2 in order to monitor turning capabilities. Perfect flyby 898. At full warp 2, acknowledge and prepare for additional flight instructions. Affirmative command. Advance to warp speed 2. ship is the most responsive ship I've ever flown. <laughs> awesome. Tell me something, Stanya. Does it ever bother you that they only use tubers to test fly? Tubers are expendable. You know that. At least they give us a little adventure in our lives. <laughs> well, Caleb, I still don't like being considered expendable. Activate warp speed. Approaching warp speed. Ignition in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Mark. Mark. Begin sequence one at 4,000 units per second. 4,000, four, five, 5,000, five, five. Energize. Begin sequence number two at 8,000 units. Affirmative. Approaching 8,000 units. Energize. Warp two in effect and holding. Command, this is Styro 898. Ready to receive additional instructions. 898, this is Flight Command. During the next new maneuvers, activate relay computer system for effectiveness readout. Affirmative, Command. Stanio, activate relay computer. Maintain full warp two speed. Full warp two. Bank left. That was too close. On my order, bank right 45 degrees. Standing by, command. Bank right 45 degrees. Excellent. Now I want you to try a bank 90 degrees right. Command, we seem to be having a problem with this 90-degree maneuver. We observed 898. All right, ease off, ease off. Directly upon descent, report to operations for debriefing and your new assignments. Command, out. New assignment? How about that? I think we have graduated. Command thinks we must be ready for our first real assignment. Yes, well, we'll know soon enough. I think I can have it arranged for you to be assigned to the Delta Territory. Guarding the old people's asteroids? No thanks. How about Mars? Or Earth? They have beautiful fighter ships there. How maneuvering an Earth ship. That's my kind of duty.
Then the ship refused to respond to the 90 degree turn. Your report appears complete. The computers will analyze your input. Your new orders are effective immediately and are as follows. Stan your 12. You will report immediately to Flight Command QD for transport to Mega Vector. Report to Master Commander Wilhelm. You are now dismissed. Yes, sir. Caleb 7, you are hereby assigned to fly Earth Reconnaissance with Space Major Groper. You will command the mission. No weapons are assigned. Repeat, no weapons are assigned. We are interested in obtaining close-range photographs. Security informs us that a new Earth weaponry base has been established in the southwest quadrant of the continental United States. This mission is vitally important to Styrolia, and it will be security classified. Repeat, security classified. You will discuss it with no one. That is all, Caleb 7. You are dismissed. Did you draw Mega Vector 2? No. Well, my mission is a classified one, Stan. I'm afraid I can't say anything more. Classified usually means an Earth flight. I can't. I sure wish we were going to be flying together. So do I, Stan. So now we fly with a real man. Well, at least we'll be flying. Good luck. I wish you the same, Caleb. Life bearing craft only. And sector five, clear. Sector nine, clear. Star eight is Iran, agreement. My search screens show no sign of enemy activity. Control craft seven to control center, reporting space zone J-19 clear. Repeat, space zone J-19 clear. This is patrol seven, and report. Affirmative patrol craft seven, space entry confirms a negative activity in J-19. Proceed to space zone K-12. Repeat, confirmation of zero activity. Proceed to next designated patrol area. Control out. <laughs> patrol craft three, control center ready to receive transmission. Go ahead. God, I hate working these night shifts. I get so damn bored. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a little action myself. Uh, speaking of which, uh, what are you doing after you get off tonight, Jen? Going to bed. Uh, you care for a little company? Not a chance. One date with you was enough. Hey, I thought we were pretty compatible. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, you figure you're calm and I'm patable. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Strike three. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, what are you doing after the shift, hot shot? The usual. Well, not the laser artillery range again, man. You got no class. You have to be ready for anything, you know? Yeah, but every night? Alert status must be maintained. There's no room in the forces for lackadaisical attitudes. My draft board didn't seem to mind. No, well, seriously, look, why don't we grab a couple of Alco six packs? We'll jump in my semi grab and go into the city. She's got 18 Duratheon power boosters. She really moves. Maybe another time. No, really. We'll go in and we'll have a little bite to eat at the orbit room, and uh, then we'll hit a few pleasure centers on the way back out. Sorry, not my cup of tea. What's with you, Rodman? Don't you know how to have any fun? There's a war going on. 
Some of us take our responsibilities more seriously than others. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? You guys cut it out. Now, we've got eight hours to go on this shift, and I'm not going to spend the time listening to another of your stupid arguments. I'd hardly call being supported Vert's position in the Styrolian War stupid. Oh, here we go again. Another tirade on why we should stand up and cheer for the biggest military blunder of them all. Blunder? We didn't start the war. They did. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't see the military geniuses who head operations in any big hurry to end it. Hell, it's been over 20 years. The enemy's still out there. You gotta be kidding, Blake. There hasn't been a penetration of Earth's atmosphere in over five years. What's the point? The point is, they could launch a major attack again at any time. The only thing I've seen on the screen in the last six months is our own patrol craft. Now, don't you understand? Sterolia is as sick of fighting as we are. Or at least some of us. Well, I'm not letting them catch me off guard. I'll be ready for the fight, whenever they are. You career soldiers are a real pain in the ass. What is it? Space Entry 2's picked something up. Yeah, you can see it now. Read out from the gate track of Starodian. That's too hard to tell you. Then space entry two in for a confirmation check. Green, I'm going to uh, run a weapons test. Negative using that space sentry as a target. Negative. Our instructions state negative. You may be in charge of the assignment, but I'm in charge of the Zoran. No weapons fired until I give the command. Proper, let the tuber have his way. Our turn will come, old timer. Green. Hey, if there's gonna be action, we'll be in better shape if we change our position. Remember, that sentry has alerted every Earth patrol in the area. I don't like the idea they know right where we are. Zoran in agreement. Basic flight plan's mandatory. Flight plane adjustment, point zero eight. Mark. Mark. Sequence attitude, even. Even and ignite. Attack one to control. Intruder ID two, Styrolian one-man fighter patrol craft. Confirmation complete. The two spacecrafts are one-man Styrolian reconnaissance fighters. What are they up to, anyway? Well, they're on the move now. Send two patrol craft to zone Q-73. Elements in interceptor alert. Now you'll want to get a hold of Command Central, too. They'll want to know about this. Right. Hey, uh, looks like the night might liven up after all. Yeah, man, you're right. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I just get up. Control center calling patrol craft 19 and 26. Interceptor alert. Emergency. Proceed to zone Q-73 immediately. Repeat. Proceed to zone Q-73 immediately. I remember. <laughs> Tuber. I remember when an entire armada of fighters and space cruisers were attacking the Earth colony. I was commanding a laser garrison on one of the cruisers. They threw every ship they had at us. Nova destroyers, proton bomb launchers, but they couldn't stop us. And I personally had six kills. Let me tell you something, Tuber. Once on a special patrol, four kills with my bare hands. Ah, what a sensation. Warm human blood flowing, firing a furnace of emotion. Oh, Tuber. And when you agitate them, it's a strange planet, Earth. Feelings never experienced elsewhere in the galaxy. <laughs> and no better feeling than to watch an Earth ship being blasted apart. <sighs> but now, huh, where are we now? The major attacks, uh, they've ceased. For good reason. Our economy was in a state of collapse after years of war. We were annihilating them. We, Styrolians, 
would-be rulers of this entire quadrant of the galaxy. Now we do nothing. There's no honor left for those of us who led the fight. There is honor in having served the fleet and having obeyed orders, that is all. The fight, as you call it, exists. Not for our own purposes, but for Styrolean. <sighs> for me, for veterans like me, the fight will continue and nothing will stop it. Nothing. I would hardly refer to this reconnaissance mission as continuing the fight. True, Tuber. But Fleet Command allowed me to make one slight modification to our flight itinerary. Modification? What modification? This, too. Our mission makes no mention of any extra armament. You don't worry about the mission, Tuber. You just fly this ship. Enemy patrol ships approaching, two in number. Sector eight. Activate molecular shield. Star Age is around ready. All systems on manual. Computer advises attack approach C84 optimal. Affirmative. C84 implementation in effect. Fire boosters on computer count. Four, three, two, one. Ignite. First thrust. Perhaps in range any second. Flight plan adjustment mandatory. React. React. Our shields won't protect us from a head-on blast. Those Earth ships carry neutron laser rays. Just stay alert to my command to fire those lasers. Now it's my turn. I said wait for my command. No! No. Her malfunctioning. Overheating due to firing frequency. Not my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault. It has to be a design flaw. Take control of the main guns and keep them on automatic range. If they fail, the only thing to blame will be the ship's computer. All right, what's Breen doing? He's holding his own. We lost contact with them. Where'd they go? I can't see them. Well, find them. The scope will find them. There, Sector 2. Just give me a minute. We'll be right back on top of it. Robert, I'm right on one. Here we go. I got him, Robert. I got him. Good. Good rain. How does it feel? Ah, uh, like the old days. Did you see the way that Earth ship blew when I hit it? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a second, sir. What's wrong? The Starolians. They just hit one of our interceptors. It just vanished from the screen. You got a confirmation on that? I'm trying. Yes? That's right. You heard correctly. Enemy action. Looks like we may have suffered a casualty. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Like I said, there's not a trace left. Any luck? Patrolcraft 19 and 26 acknowledge. Control Center calling Patrolcraft 19 and 26. This is PC-26 reporting. We've made contact. Repeat. Contact established. Response is hostile. PC-19 eliminated. How about some help up here? Patrol Craft 26, this is Control. We're doing what we can. Prepare for sentry self-destruct in your zone. Affirmative and out. Green, 42 degrees! Green! Could he have miscalculated? He did. He miscalculated. Maintain position, Patrol Craft 3. Maintain position. Potential enemy activity anticipated in all Earth space zones. Control out. Which of you is Rodman? I'm Lieutenant Rodman, sir. Operations coordinator for this sector. Any further report, Lieutenant? We've just scored an enemy kill. There remains one more intruder, but our interceptor seems to have the upper hand. 
Is there any indication of Starolian activity in any other space zone? Negative, sir. Ensign Hamlin is nevertheless following Fleet Command directives and having all patrol craft maintain position in the event of further hostile activity. Excellent. I want a complete status check on this entire operation in ten minutes. <laughs> Earth Patrol. They're right on top of us. Affirmative. Maneuver them behind us. What are we going to do? What? I'll maneuver them. Tuber, I, I'm not sure just how much more pounding the molecular shields can take. The ship is beginning to lose control. We've got only one alternative. Send to surface. Affirmative. If I can put this down your knowledge versus terrain, you have a possibility of survival. What's your conclusion? Well, it's hard to say. This computer analysis indicates that the remaining Styrolian fighter has extra armaments. But there's no indication that it's been used for more than just a few seconds. PC-26 reported they observed a variation from the standard Starolian artillery. Well, if the extra guns do exist, there has to be more than one person aboard that ship to operate it. Uh, not necessarily. It looks like the flight is headed towards the Earth's surface. I'll be damned. Starolian is boxing himself in. Patrol Craft 26, reporting in, sir. PC-26 calling Control Center. Go ahead, PC-26. This is General Elsinore. We're with you. We've got him on the run, General. Once they're within surface supports range, they won't get away. Good job, Captain. Control out. Alert surface support. I want three proton launches airborne now. Yes, sir. This is Control. Give me... Cindy sure is growing up. You know, Grandpa, even after all these years, I still find myself missing Mom and Dad. I don't know. Maybe it's because this place never changes. Same furniture, same everything. The world keeps changing, but the farm remains exactly as if Mom and Dad were still here. This way when I grew up here, when my daddy grew up, all the way back to my great grandfather, Luke Carter. It's his family's home place. Always has been, always will be. Grandpa, I've been thinking. Ever since they died, and we had to raise Jimmy and Cindy, and somebody had to do the housework and and, and look out after everyone, and well. Say what you're thinking, girl. How do I say it? I'd like to find someone. I'd like a home of my own. Hmm. Been wondering when you'd be bringing this up. It's just that night after night, I sit here after the kids have gone to bed, and I just have these feelings. We feel what we feel. But, Grandpa, a time comes when people have to let go of certain of certain ways of living. Don't you see? The hate you hold inside you is going to destroy you. Do you want the kids to grow up unhappy like you? You can't keep protecting them from this world. This modern world of yours killed my son. Your daddy. Kills your mama. That's not something I want for you kids. You know, I've discovered something. 
I can hold on to the love of Mom and Dad without hating this world. Maybe you can. Not me. No, it's the same for everybody. Sure, there are some that refuse to let go of their hate. But that hate eventually consumes them, in the same way it's consuming you. Now, you listen to me. I've been on this earth a good deal longer than you have, young woman. There was a time before when this world was a good place to live for everyone. But the politicians and corporations decided that what was out there was more important than what we had down here. The results? Aside from a few farms like our own, which I've done my damnedest to maintain the way a farm should be, the world is one long, endless war, grabbing up all the resources to keep up with your world. You don't know the smell of green grass in the spring, the feel of cool dirt between your toes. All they want is the newest, shiniest, fastest, whatever it takes to satisfy them. That's not the important part. Oh, it isn't. What do you think it is that makes everything work in today's society? Runs those air surface cars. Runs all the gadgets in every city around this world. Diorathium, that's what. What's that got to do with it? I'll tell you what it has to do with it. It's diorathium crystals that Earth has been fighting about with those damn sterolium monsters all these years. And you say it has no part in our lives. But I remember the day those styrolians came flying across our land, burning nearly all of it out with those diorathium rays. I remember seeing your mom and daddy out in the fields when it happened. I told myself I'd never forget. As long as I live, I'll look on this world as a lost cause. But as for those Styrolians, well, I could kill. No, enough of that. Time for bed. 4 a.m. still comes early. Night, Grandpa. All the animals are locked up in water. I left Matt and Blaze in the lower pasture, okay? Fine. Grandpa gone to bed? A few minutes ago. Heard you and him arguing. I never heard so many words out of his mouth. It's okay if me and Vicious go out to the pond for a few minutes? Well, it is kind of late. Oh, please, you just gotta let me. Well, what on earth is that? It's an atom polarizer. I made the money selling frog legs to send away for it. Does Grandpa know about this? Are you kidding? He'd skin me alive. Put these wires in the water like this and push here and zap any frog within five mirrors gets fried. Jimmy, how could you do such a thing? Oh, please, you just gotta let me. Well, it's been a while since we had frog legs. Great. Come on, Vicious. We've got things to do. Come on, Vicious. Don't forget to lock up. Don't worry. It's no use. We just have to cope with the ship's environmental system as it is. A few more revolutions, maybe. Maybe. Damn! You'd think this ship was Earth-made. If we could make the system work. The hell of these reconnaissance vessels were never designed for this kind of speed. And especially in Earth's atmosphere. But we have no choice. enough distance between us and the Earth Patrol. We're out of their laser range. Let's hope we don't burn up. Tuber, the hull's gonna separate. We have to adjust our flight plan immediately. Agreement. I'll let the ship fall under Earth gravitational pull. Earth Patrol. We've lost scanner contact. They're too close to the ground. Any sighting yet, Commander? Not yet, sir. It's pretty black out here. We're making a surface sweep based on last coordinates of gliders. They'll turn up sooner or later. Surface support out. See if you can raise a patrol craft. Patrol craft 26, this is control. Come in, 26. This is PC 26, control. Can you give us your position? Not a chance. Lost track of my flight plane when they moved down here. Can't talk any longer. They just pulled up behind me. 26, out. <laughs> You're staying in pursuit? I have no choice. Any attempt to reverse direction and climb back would be useless. 
Well, they're going to pay to her. They are going to pay. Pull up, Cooper, pull up! Guidance system is knocked out. We're forced to stay on manual. Well, All we can do is run. Won't be running too far if you keep flying at this low altitude. Got a slight lead on them. One last alternative. Tell me what you want. Supercharged laser batteries. No. Do it! Batteries charging. Good. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to completely reverse flight direction. This blast is going to work. Agreement. And I think I found just the place. On command, shut down all interior and exterior lights. Computer ready? What's our firing status? On computer ready. Vicious? It sounded like thunder. But it couldn't have been thunder. It's a clear night. Hey, there's a big one, okay. I got him. Our flights and panels won't respond. Activate emergency power. Activated. That wasn't thunder. I could have sworn I... Hey, did you see that? Come on, Vicious, let's take a look. Come on. Robert! The ship is destroyed. Is it irreparable? See for yourself. Oh. Stuck here on this forsaken planet Earth without a ship. Captive. We'll figure something out. Uh, uh, now don't move. Uh, I'll take care of it. Uh, uh, You'll be all right. By now, the Earth Patrol must have alerted their ground forces. Yes, they could have spotted the crash. We're too exposed here. We should move to a safer place. Yes. have indicated radioactivity fallout in the coastal mountain vicinity. What about visual contact? PL-59, which was in the area, reported sighting a faint flash on the horizon. Nothing more. All right. Continue surface sweep until ground search is in the area. Yes, sir. PL-58 out. God damn it! How the hell did they get by us? How do we lose them? Try reaching the patrol craft again. General, you don't understand. It's not as if he's simply not answering. When I make the call, my indicator level shows zero response activity. Now, that would only happen if the ship... If the ship had blown up, I know that. 
I know that. Just try again anyway. Yes, sir. That analysis just confirmed the nature of the fallout. It correlates exactly with the dirathium fuel amounts on board PC-26. That flash must have been the ship exploding. All right. Captain Warner's on his way over here now, sir. He's the best search squadron leader we've got. He'll find that star early on, whether he's dead or alive. Come on, Vicious. Come on. What is it, Vicious? What is it, boy? No, don't shoot. No! Vicious, Vicious, what happened? What did you do? Why? No. The Earthling may be useful to us. Tuber, he can identify us. He must be terminated. He can lead us to that structure in the distance. It must be his living cubicle. At least there we can think of what we're going to do next. Besides, we need nutritional supplies. Well, you convince the Earthling to cooperate, or he'll be terminated. You're Australians. If you plan on staying alive, you'll drop that light. My comrade has very little tolerance. I mean now. Should you further annoy or irritate me, there will be instant termination. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now lead us out of here. Yes, sir. afraid and do exactly as I tell you. Get yourself and the young one into the other room. Sit. Dropper. the old one in the chair.
Don't kill him. Put the noose around his neck. Don't hurt him. Put it around his neck. Please don't hurt him. You need motivation. Now tighten it. Please don't hurt him. I'll do anything you want. Yes, you will. You back. Don't hurt her. Stay back. Tighten it. Oh, it's not tight enough. Untie the boy outside and bring him in. When I secure the old man. Well, help ha. him! Help him, girl! You in the back, help him! Help him! Captain Martin Warner reporting, sir. Eddie's captain. Step over here, will you? <clears throat> now, Marty, this is the last area that we had verified contact with our patrol craft. Commander Copas is keeping a surface watch, but so far he hasn't turned up anything. Have there been any more computer readings from the general vicinity? There was a slight detection of seismic movement shortly after our ship blew up. Then possibly, just possibly, the Styrolian crash landed. Possibly. But to create even the slight ground disturbance that was picked up would have required one hell of an impact. Chances are better that it was caused by delayed aftershock after PC-26 exploded. Have you been able to pinpoint the area where this seismic activity took place? Let me check. You done yet with the cross-indexing, Lieutenant Woodbury? Just finished. The seismic indicators show that the source of the ground disturbance is within a hundred square mile area, about here. Then that's where we should begin. Any further orders, General? Just find him. Kill him. I want this operation... Well, how is he? Your friend needs help. What have you done with Jimmy? Jimmy? What is Jimmy? My brother, the boy. Boy? Oh, the young thing. He's safe enough. Don't worry about him. You help me with my tuber. Here. Oh. Uh. What's wrong? There's something burning inside my shoulder. Well, high compression microwave shouldn't have any side effects. Tell me, what the weapon the old man used? What was it? A shotgun. A shotgun. And what does it do? What does it do? What is the explosion? What does it consist of? What? Small metal pellets. <sighs> Do not use the sprayer. It must raise the temperature of the pellets. Small metal pellets. Tuber, I cannot heal your shoulder. Keep away! The wound should be cleaned. It hurts. Let her clean it. You don't understand, Tuber. Let her help! Help. I need some water and some antiseptic pads. Get it. Get it! Ah! <gasps> 
palate should be removed. I I've never done this before. I'll, I'll clean the wound to keep it from getting infected. This will sting. Wait. I want to know. What is that? Whiskey. This whiskey. No! No! You're going to poison him. No, it Yes, isn't. you're going to poison him. It won't hurt him, it'll help him. Cleaning and bandaging is enough. Get on with it. On with it! I'm going outside to get the boy. If anything happens to him while I'm gone, the boy will be terminated. Do you understand? I understand. Yes, I'm I know you. Small pellets which become embedded in its targets. Ridiculous. Now, what could I try it on? Hey, where are you going? Just wanted to make sure Cleo was okay. Cleo? What's a Cleo? It's my pet canary. Don't you think Cleo would like to fly about the room? Enjoy some freedom? Janet told me not to let her out of her cage. And you wouldn't dare disobey Janet. Would she, old one? Do you know what I would do if someone disobeyed me? Hmm? Don't let them hurt Cleo, Grandpa. <laughs> Gathering intelligence, Tuber. Studying the effect of this rather primitive weapon. Demonstrating a point. That their weapons are inefficient, undependable. His shoulder's bleeding. Get the boy. You're undependable. I want that shoulder repaired. And that's an order. We haven't finished yet, you and I. No, we haven't finished yet. Janet? Yes, dear? I miss Cleo. I do too, honey. Try to get some rest. The young one yours? Sister. Sister. Shoulder needs attention. Your sister. Tell me what you feel about her. I want to know. Well, naturally, I love her very much. Something you wouldn't understand. These are feelings I've never seen before. Hurts, doesn't it? Yes. But I trust you. I couldn't let you bleed to death. You have much compassion. I am sorry if any harm has come to either you or your family. That's hard to believe. You broke into my home. You pointed a gun at us. If you feel so badly about it, why did you do it? We are trying to survive in a strange world. If Gropper has done anything to harm you or your family, it is unfortunate. But in view of what has happened to me, there is little that could be done. I am sorry. I'm sorry, too. In our world, when one does 
this harm to another, it is automatically expected that they will be terminated. No matter who they may be. Do you mean that if your mother and father did something wrong, you'd, you'd bring harm to them? I cannot answer that question. Why not? I never had a mother. I was artificially created in a test tube. I was raised in a nurturing center. I never had a mother or a father. I have no concept of parents, or parents and children, or sisters. Therefore, I cannot answer that question. So that's why you were asking me about my sister. That is why. I just can't believe you would bring harm to someone you love. Those like me have no families. We are not permitted to interrelate on any level of Styrolian society. We are raised in a computerized technology. Until mature, then we become soldiers living a life of obedience. I am a tuber. That is all. Do you have a name? Yes. I have a name. this concept love. We may need them. Come in here. We need to discuss our plan. You stay here. I still say our best alternative is to move on at first light. No. We'd be too exposed. It's safer here. We're too close to where the ship exploded. The Earth Patrol is bound to check this house. It would be to our benefit. How can that be? They check this place. We terminate them. We take their vehicles. We have no idea as to how many troops they'll send. It can't be more than four or five. It's too large an area to search. It is worth considering. You okay, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Just watch out for yourself, son. I'm real proud to have you handle things. They killed Vicious. The mean guy did it. Vicious is dead? Yeah. No talking. Stick it. In view of your condition, to move is impossible. If you die to her, die like a soldier. No conversation, no talking, no whispering. Necessary. These people may be different from us, but they don't deserve this kind of treatment. We'll probably die anyway, Tuber, so why not enjoy ourselves? I can't get it without him seeing me. I'll try kicking it under the couch. You seem to be forgetting fundamental orders. A basic tenet for each fleet commander in flight training 
is never to harm one's adversary unnecessarily, especially when they're civilians. Now, I don't need to explain to you why that rule exists, do I? I know why, Tuber. Unnecessary harm to one's enemy provides a motivation to retaliate, which may not have existed before, something like that. Hmm. Well, I see little to fear in retaliation from these creatures. I suggest we reconsider this after we've had some rest. Tuber, I have nothing further to discuss with you. Nothing. I need you, if only to get off this planet. So let's take a look at that shoulder. Not bad. I'll look at it later. I think he's coming. Get it later. Remember, I don't want them harmed. Oh, yes, sir. Mighty humanitarian. No more violence. Grandpa and Jimmy. I checked. They're all fine. Oh. Mm. I have to feed the animals. Would you? I mean, do you feel well enough to go along with me? Sure, but Robert would never let you go by yourself. Crazy. You're both so different. Yes. Then do you want to come too? I'm scared. Go back to sleep. But if you do get up, stay in the room and don't make any noise. Okay. Turn your head. I want to change my clothes. Hey, where are you going? The horses have to be watered and the animals have to be fed. Oh, I'm going with it, Robert. Besides, I need some fresh air and we may need their animals. So good to be outside, away from him. It's so very different here.
Why is part of that mountain so green and the other part so barren? Years ago, when the war with your people was much larger, a tremendous air battle took place over those hills. The hills were seared with laser bombs from your attacking Stryolians. A few are responsible for the hurt of so many. Our people as well as yours. The ones who want it the least are usually the people who are hurt the most. I'm happy that you and your family were not harmed by the fighting that took place here. My mother and father were killed. I've been very confused about the meaning of parents. But in the short time I've been here, I've come to learn that there exists a strong bond between members of a family unit. And although I don't completely understand the significance of it, I do sense the depth of it. We're just as responsible for the death and destruction during this war. No conflict lasts so many years unless both sides are unwilling to compromise. But enough about war. Tell me. What was it like to live on Styrolia? As children, a teacher, companion, sometimes dictator, sometimes friend, is a computer. But mostly the computer is our standard of how to live. The only people we uh, ever meet are the young ones we grow up with. But then we're taught not to become attached to them. we grow as individuals, learning from each other. And as we grow closer together, we become more aware of each other's feelings. I think I'm beginning to understand. But what of this concept, love? Since life began on this planet, people have tried to explain love with not much success. What's that? Oats. Oats? It's what the horses eat. Why don't you use androids or robots to do these mundane kind of jobs? <laughs> the whole point of living this lifestyle is to stay in touch with nature. Come on, let's go feed the chickens. Okay, you can have more. curious animal. It's fascinating how they all stay together in one group like that. You know, a couple of nights ago, a mother hen died. Her brood was adopted by a mother hen, and she instinctively began caring for the motherless chicks just like her own. Caleb, it's the same with people. You see, once there's a sense of caring between two people, love begins to grow. That's what you saw with Cindy and myself. And that feeling exists between parent and child. Whether child's created naturally or from a test tube. That feeling is love.
Show me. Tuber. You know something, old one? I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> but wait till my turn comes. <laughs> Search Squadron 4, calling Control. Search Squadron 4, calling. This is Control, uh, Squadron 4. Enemy vessel located at 3,000 feet elevation in mountain region 18. Any sign of the pilot? Negative. The escape hatch was open and the vehicle empty. Judging from the condition of the wreckage, he must have been injured. He couldn't have gotten too far. Consolidate forces and saturate the area. Well, regrouping is already taking place. Odds are he's moved to lower ground. So we'll be concentrating personnel to the north. Fine. Just keep us posted. Yes, sir. Squadron 4, out. Get a hold of the boys over at security analysis. I want a search team on that site in an hour. Well, I presumed you took care of the animals. For now, yes. Well, that's good. Now it's my turn. You stand watch. Grandpa, I'm going to check the animals now. No, Grover. Yes. I said no. Well, all right, Tuba, if that's what you want. <laughs> I mean, anything you experience with a tuber like that is nothing compared to what you're going to experience with me. No! Oh, please! Don't That's what I like, some of the spirit! Spirit, right, Grandpa? I'll tell you what, Grandpa. I'll tell you all about it when I'm finished. <laughs> you do anything to my sister and you're a dead man! Cindy, Cindy, come quick. Where's you? What happened to Caleb? Never mind. Just get me a knife, scissors, anything. Just get me out of these ropes. <laughs> Hurry, just cut it. Hurry. Damn it, cry. This is how a styrolean does it. Jim, my ropes. Get me out of them. No time. I gotta help Janet. Get him out of his ropes. Send me. Come on. That's it. what I like. Come on, you're missing the best part. Stop. Keep away from my sister. Stop now or I'll shoot. Stop or I'll shoot. I 
I'd kill you right here. But I think Grandpa might enjoy watching. Hey, Grandpa, you want to witness an execution? You'll pay. You'll pay. Now it's my turn. Since I didn't want to shoot Janet, I waited until he was away from her. I distracted him, all right. <laughs> I almost had him right then and there. But like I told you, the gun didn't work. <laughs> Finally, he had me pinned down and was ready to kill me and... Joey, come look. Just tell me what you see, honey. There's two guys sneaking about outside the house. I could see them from the bedroom, too. She's right. As far as I can see, it's an Earth tactical search unit. I bet you they found the ship. Jim, take Caleb into Grandpa's bedroom and get him into a pair of dungarees and a work shirt. Okay, come on. Go ahead, it's going to be all right. Grandfather, I know we haven't always agreed with each other, but, but please, please, don't, don't turn Caleb in. Please. I'm Captain Warner. I'm looking for a Styrolian. We found the remains of his ship up on the hill. We assumed he escaped. Do any of you have any information about him? Yep. In fact, um, Cal over there had his head busted in by him. <laughs> but we took care of that old boy. You'll find what's left of him outside and back of the wood bin. Captain, we found him behind the house, shot full of holes. We want to thank you. That's all right. Just haul his carcass away from here. That'll be thanks enough. Now, if you don't mind, we'd have enough excitement here for one day. We'll contact you later. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. Now, don't ask me why I didn't turn him in. It's very simple. The love I saw in your eyes reminded me of the look your mama used to give your daddy. <laughs> Besides, I could use an extra hand here on the farm. <laughs> yes. I understand, Major. Thank you. Well, looks like you were right, Lieutenant. It was only logical. But I heard about the... Captain Warner is calling in. The Styrolian pilot, they found him. This is Elsinore. I hear you've got good news, Marty. That's right, General. We found the alien. He was already dead. Seems this backwoods farm family had terminated him. What about the other one? Another one? I, I don't know what you mean, sir. Security analysis just called in the report from the crash site. There were two enemy personnel on board at the time of the crash. Well, if there is another one out here, I'll get him, sir. I'm sure you will. Control out. Much different than I expected. So informal, simple. Well, don't judge all of Earth by what you see here at our ranch. By most standards, ours is judged as an old fashioned lifestyle. I'm not complaining. I like it. And the people who live it. Well, if you went to one of the big cities, you might change your mind. The people there all act as if they're out of some kind of an assembly line. Assembly line? Yeah, you know. Stand for the same cookie cutter. <laughs> cookie cutter? Oh. From the same mold. Oh, you mean like on Styrolia? Oh. Where people are born, raised, and educated on an assembly line. Well, I prefer you to most Earth people I've known. And I prefer you. 
Well, let's drink to our preferences. the area. I say we search. Captain Warner's report indicated four persons living here. An old man, a young adult female, and two children. The neighbors to the east indicate that there's a, an adult male here. They say he's been here about a month and a half. He's described as about five foot eleven, maybe thirty years of age. So what do you think? Captain Warner also reported seeing a male farmhand here. Did he check his papers? No, I don't think so. It must be our styrolean. It all fits. We found one dead, but intelligence report indicates it, that there was two of them, that there's one missing. And suddenly a new man appears on this ranch. Right. Okay, if he's not in the house, well, he's certainly in the area. You check out the house again. Okay. I'm gonna radio command. This is search team Omega calling command. Request search team Alpha group at vector 79A. Lieutenant, look at this. Security. Where? At the house. I just saw them. Heard them. They're looking for you, Cal. They know you're here. Oh, my God. What do we do now? I've got to get you away from here, son. The sooner the better. They're searching the area. I heard them call up another team to help them. I don't know where they are now or where they're going. You can't go back to the house because they probably have a guard there. I think you'll have to head into the countryside. What about provisions? Weapons? We'll make do with what we have. I'm praying we don't have to use weapons. We can't send Caleb off by himself. He doesn't know the area. Listen to me, girl. We have no other choice now. He can't stay here. He could be arrested and maybe killed. How about you, Cal? What do you think? Any ideas? Are there any civilian air shuttle bases in this area? About five miles east of here. If I can get to a ship. Any ship that can fly, I might stand a chance. Will you lead me? Let's go. What do you think? I think they've been here just a short time ago. This way. He's out there alone? No, I don't think so. Looks to me like the old man was covering the styrolean. Deliberately. Whether he did it on his own or was forced to, I don't know. We're just wasting time. He's probably not alone. Alpha team, you take the low ground. Form a 40 degree sweep northeast of the ranch. Gilbert and I will take the southwest sector. Get these things. Set up a laser fence. Form a circle around the quadrant. Hit it. Come on, hurry! 
Fire only when you know you can hit him. I don't want the family hit. Yes, sir. Circle around to the right and sweep the area. Report in every five minutes. Okay. Sitting ducks out here. Oh, I know what you're trying to do, but hunting tricks don't change through the years. <laughs> Come on, we'll go back the other way. Follow me. It's all right, keep going. Okay, I'm all right. Running is over, my friend. Stand up. I said, stand up. Put your hands behind you. Turn around. I said, turn around. That's it. Back up. Okay, Sonny. Nice and easy. Let go of the laser gun. That's it. Here, Cal. Take the gun. All right. Down on your knees. Nice and slow. That's it. Give me the rope. You got it on him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, behind your back. That's a good boy. I'm not going to kill you. Your comrades will find you soon. And when they do, I want you to give them this message. Do not hurt this Earth family. What they did for me, they did out of love and gratitude. If they broke any of your laws, it was my doing, not theirs. Won't be needing this anymore. Come on, let's go. How's the leg? I've been hurt worse. Well, it's gonna slow you down. I'm going to use myself as a decoy. That'll give you the extra time you'll need. I can't let you do that. You may get shot. 
Don't worry about me, Cal. I can take care of myself in these parts. I wish I had all the time to tell you how much you've come to mean to me, son. And you to me. Janet. No. You stay with your family. The children need you. But I... He's right, Janet. And it's too dangerous out there for you. back to the ranch now. Come on. He'll be back. I know it. As soon as there's peace again, he'll be back. Come on. Now go on now. Hurry. 